Dr. Redwan, uh, we first of all appreciate you being here today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You bet. Uh, Dr. Redwan, if you could send one message loud and clear to President Obama and to members of Congress regarding the situation in Syria, what would it be? I think it's the time for this administration to act on Syria. Now, we, what we have in Syria, it's the same actually what we have in Sarajevo before in, in, in the 90s, where actually President Clinton acted and take the actions necessary to end the Milosevic days. Now it's the time for the administration to act to end the Assad days, otherwise actually the massacres and the atrocities will continue and will, will continue in Syria without, without any actually responsibility of the Assad regime. And Dr. Wah, uh, could you tell us a little bit about, uh, you just went and did some fact finding, is that correct? Yeah. Could, could you tell us a little bit about some of the numbers and, and what you saw there? It's actually what's happened in, in, in Geneva that this is the first, fourth session of the UN Human Rights Council in Geneva. And it's uh, in the, the decision being taken that describe what's happened in Syria as, as man-made humanitarian crisis. It's one of the strongest language in the, in the UN Human Rights Council. And we come up with a mechanism because the Security Council cannot refer the crimes against humanity to the International Criminal Court. This is why actually the, the Commission of Inquiry put those who are responsible on the crimes against humanity in sealed envelope and put it actually as a deposit to the, commission, to the higher Commission of Human Rights. Mm -hmm. As soon as actually the International Criminal Court or any international court will start its investigation on Syria, those actually cases and those evidence Will, will go to the international court and, and this is give you a sense that the accountability and the immunity it has to end in Syria. Absolutely. Now what, what, uh, what role do you think the United States should play in leading the neighboring Gulf states? I think the United States had the responsibility to protect the civilians. United States as a superpower and take actions in different regions in the world where actually there is sec no security council. It has been in Kurdistan before. It was a very re weak security council resolution. But in, in Bosnia, there wasn't security council resolution. Mm -hmm. This is why the United States should not wait for the security council to, to adopt any resolution and to act very quickly through actually the umbrella of the friends of Syria. Now, now let, me, let me continue and ask you this. Uh, uh, we've met with several members of Congress, and, and they've communicated that some of their concerns in this post-Iraq environment is that they don't want another Iraq. Can you assure President Obama and members of Congress that we are not calling for anything similar to Iraq? No one is calling, actually, for direct involvement of the U.S. What we need, actually, target airstrikes, with the same time implementing the safe zone and, and, and limited no-fly zone above the designated area. This is the only, the safe haven who actually for the free Syrian army to organize itself and to, to give the access for the medical and, and, and uh, the medical and the food assistance for the people who are in need in Syria. Is there any way possible that we could get humanitarian relief into Syria without some form of military backing? Because what would the I don't Syrian think government so, do? Because that will actually still uh, wait for the Assad permission and the Assad, it's clear. They actually, uh, they shelled and destroyed the whole neighborhood in Baba Amr. And, and I don't think that we have to wait the permission of the Assad government. We should act without, without waiting and give the Assad more time to kill more Syrians. Now we'll, we'll end with this one, Dr. Redwan. It, it, what, how does it make you feel? And I, and I want you to talk to the hearts and the conscience of members of Congress and President Obama. How does it make you feel when you know that over 12,000 people have been killed since this uprising began a year ago? I think now the, the Congress actually adopt many resolutions on Syria. But right now actually the time for the Congress and for the administration to be on the side of the Syrian people. The Syrian people appealing for in, in direct intervention and we have actually to hear their voice. The Congress has to hear their voices because they are, they are calling for a dignity and a human rights, and this is the value that the United States stands for. Thank you, Dr. Redwan. President Obama, members of Congress, Senators McCain, Senators Lieberman, 
is Senator Lindsey Graham. You hear it directly from the mouth of one of the board members of the Syrian National Council, the SNC, telling you the time is now. We must act. We must help the Syrian people. Thank you very much, Dr. Ridwan. We appreciate your time.